Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what happens. You become totally desensitized. And Joey is absolutely desensitized. He doesn't feel anything but hunger. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to react to Joey Carbstrong with his video 3x vegans face to face with Joey Carbstrong. Watch till the end. I can't guarantee that I will watch it till the end, dear Joey, but looking at your yellow skin tone, I can say there is definitely something wrong with your liver. Let's have a look. Seen this before? Yeah, yeah, I've seen it, I've seen it. I used to be vegan for like three years as well. Oh, really? So, so I know, I know the thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Why aren't you vegan now? Actually, from what actually happened, I was, I was what do you call it? Like, say maybe three, three years into it, yeah, three years into it, I started having mad dreams. I used to have dreams. I was waking up in cold sweats. Like, I was eating meat and I was panicking. I was panicking. So I thought oh, this needs to change, and I was losing so much weight. So like, two, so I couldn't balance. You weren't, you weren't uh, taking oh. your calories in properly. Yeah, yeah. Precious calories! That must have been the reason. Vegans only parrot what they've heard. They have absolutely no idea. If it only comes down to calories, then even Freedy the Banana Girl does it right. Her claim to fame was 30 bananas per day. 30 bananas equals 3000 calories. Why is she so skinny? You've seen this stuff before? Ridiculous. Oh uh, yeah, have you? Yeah. You watch my videos, have you? Yeah, a lot, mate. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you a vegan? <laughs> um, I hey, vegan? No. Okay. I was, uh, I went... Uh, Disappointed! I went to veganism for about a year. Oh, really? And I, I found it good. Hmm. Yeah. What has changed? I, I, I'll be honest with you, I find it disgusting. And I... What, this cruelty yeah, in that? Yeah, man, I find it absolutely disgusting. And I, I, I feel like a hypocrite because... The only thing I do eat, if I'm honest, would be is chicken. But, but that still makes me hypocrite because I absolutely have got three. Uh, no, you're not a hypocrite. You're just brainwashed. You're watching Joey Carbstrong whilst eating chicken, feeling bad about your food choices. Congratulations, you've been brainwashed. I love animals, massive fan of animals. Brings me to tears as a grown 39-year-old uh, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a massive hypocrite. <laughs> I couldn't work out whether it was actually you and it is. Why oh. am I, what am I doing in your town? Let's stroke Joy's ego, that's what he needs. Literally, <laughs> no, I was just like... <laughs> Humor! Hey brother! Good, Cheers! Everybody man. knows Joy. Oh, yeah. Good? Good, yeah. Norwich <laughs> vegan? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Norwich vegan? I just found another one. Oh well. Uh, we're growing, we're growing. We're growing. Yeah. Have you tried out more? Looking at your face, you look like you're doing anything but growing. Moorish wow. falafel. I've probably closed now. But, but it sounds Moorish. Unbelievable. Have you had Moorish falafel? I have. You have? Not in a long time. I think I went. This is so insane. They're so hungry. I remember. It must have been them. How long have you been vegan then? I'm actually not vegan anymore. I promise I am going back on track. Oh, God. What? Nah. <laughs> what kind of mentally deranged reaction was that? What is it to you if she eats Moorish falafel, regular falafel or kebab? It's insane. Do you know the farming side of stuff? The farming side of stuff, I'm not, I'm not really with that. The way I see eating meat, I said like, if you're eating it for, for to stay alive, then it, survival. Then it's survival, then it's cool. But if the way we're doing it now is too much. We're doing it for taste pleasure. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 we're not. Eating meat will always be about survival. Especially if you're eating raw meat, you will notice that it's definitely not about taste. It is about how you feel after you ate that raw meat. This is how people used to eat back in the day. They would eat for function, not for taste. In this day and age, in this society, it is quite easy to further brainwash people because they grew up on corn flakes and peanut butter sandwiches. This is why they believe that meat eaters eat for taste pleasure. Plants lack numerous micronutrients. There is absolutely no formed vitamin A, vitamin D3 or real K2 found in 
plants. Therefore, you need to supplement. And there is no long-term study on supplements either. So what do you do? You trust the authorities. And it's of course not an appeal to authority fallacy when the vegans do it. Fact of the matter is you cannot get those nutrients out of plants. Therefore, meat is a necessity. Therefore, it will be always justified to eat meat. Like, and so much food gets wasted and like... Yeah, they, they, you know, they feed them grains and that. Of course. Yeah, if you really look into the statistics of food waste, you will see that most food that is wasted comes from plants. All that as well. People are starving. 100%. The meat that yeah. I get, I get it from farms. Vegans are starving. From supermarkets. So yeah. I get it only from farms, like local farms and stuff like that. So it's, it's, it's good, like they... For the animal. Man, look at the guy. He is huge. He's a big man. Of course, he cannot survive vegan. It's not just like Nobody can. So, so, but I understand you lot's view as well. Because uh, you say you just eat chickens. What about the milk and the eggs and that? Um, I don't. I only, as you can see, I have oat. oats. I'll tell you why I eat eggs. From my background, I always had eggs from a free range source, you see, and it was always chickens that were kept by my mum's partner. Okay. So, Skeptical look. No. Backyard eggs. Yeah, absolutely. See okay, that? yeah. So it's absolutely, you see, well, it's free range and it was a byproduct for me. So These you only, you, you go to your mum and get eggs. You don't go, so if you're in the shop, like, no, let's no. just say there's a cake or something, you don't check if it's got eggs in there. I, don't, I wouldn't eat that sort of thing. <laughs> but so like, I know, I know so, so, so in other, yeah, like, so. It is so pathetic to see how this poor dude is justifying himself to Joey Carbstrong. Okay, wow. Right. Yeah, if you go out to eat, you're not going to be like, I don't eat eggs principally. No. You know. It's like my girlfriend over there, she's vegan. She's, she's <laughs> vegan. So your girlfriend is vegan and you're, you're somehow not vegan. I know. Okay, so, wait a second, you don't eat animals though, do you? Do you eat animals? Yeah. Like who? Chickens? Like or who? Everyone. Everyone. Eat all the animals. Good for you. God. Do you think you just slowly fell back into your normal conditioning that you were always accustomed to? <laughs> Ah, oh, it's so hysterical, man. If veganism was our natural state, our species-specific diet, it would be so easy to stick to it. Why do you have a 99% dropout rate? Just ask yourself. It is, of course, ludicrous to assume that we would fall back into our social conditioning, especially in this case here. She has a girlfriend that is vegan. She has the perfect environment to stay vegan, but here she is eating all the animals. Why, Joey? So is it more when you're out and about or? Yeah. And your family's not vegan, obviously. No. No, I didn't get a lot of support from my family with it. Oh, so how oh, do you feel about it all though? Do you feel bad about it? Dutted. Oh, wow. And I think, not to put this the wrong way, but seeing you, it just made me think, what have you done? What have yeah. you done? Oh. I just assumed that you were vegan and then I was like, uh, course, you dropped the bomb on me. Translation, I assume that you were good by my arbitrary subjective standard, but you are bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, animals are just, they're like us, but they're not as different types of intelligence. But when you look in their eyes, there's someone in there. You know? 100% you can see, yes. So animals are just like us. Moreover, we are just animals. But if you look into the animal kingdom, you will see that animals eat other animals. Why is it not justified for us? Tell me, Joe. I, I do, I go do. ahead. I, I get what you're saying, you might go to this local farm sometimes, but when you're out and about, you don't always go yeah, to yeah. the local farm. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I've recently stuck a camera oh, wow. at a local slaughterhouse to have a look at how they're being killed. I yeah. stuck a camera. And the cows try to escape the knockbox. They're yeah. terrified. There's, you know, body parts everywhere. And it's yeah. a horrible way to, to get killed when, when it's the completely body killed. parts oh, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, there is chopped meat. The, the finish Delicious. Finish I, I thought it was like, do you know, like, these the animals are getting slaughtered that they they know that they know okay they're going to be slaughtered and they're going to be killed so we eat that energy like, adrenaline, they get adrenaline you know, before they die uh -huh. the fear. so even if depends on the slaughter method if they they got this happy life like think about this the, the happier they are the more of an interest they have in continuing their so, life and yeah, yeah, to, to murder them is more of an injustice yeah, yeah. like if you, if you get if you get like a human being they've got everything going for them. yeah but that is totally subjective yet again why would it be a injustice if you're basing it on our fabricated society that doesn't follow any universal standard but subjective human rights then it would make sense to your delusional mind that you would have to extend those rights to animals but the fact of the matter is that those animals cannot form any social contracts and are therefore excluded from that social protection. So if we take your subjective fabricated morals away for a second, 
we are left with reality. We see that everything feeds on each other. We see that every animal, and you believe that we are animals, eats other animals. Even herbivores, your precious cows, feed on bacteria, microorganisms. No, they're not feeding on the grass. This is how they build those big muscles. So no matter how we dissect your commentary, in the end we are left with moral subjectivism. It feels bad. So the, the happier the animal, the more of an injustice it is to kill them. Really? All free-range eggs in the commercial sense are still disgusting. Yeah, I mean, yeah for, yeah, for many reasons, they macerate the male chicks in the blender. Joey just wants to preach the vegan gospel. The guy clearly told you that he's eating backyard eggs. Why do you have to evangelize him about the animal industry? What's the point? Gas all the hens and make them into processed the gas and slaughter, so murder. On par or worse than the meat industry, yeah. but you know, the, it's weird because chickens actually have the same color eyes as you. I don't know if you ever looked. Oh at wow! Chickens have the same eye color like you. Therefore, you cannot eat them. Black people, on the other hand, <laughs> I don't know, do, but they have beautiful little blue eyes. Oh, oh beautiful! And, um, beautiful. There's someone inside of there. I, I know. Yeah. I know. I'm not going to stand here and try and defend, the, you know, the reason I eat meat. I'm not going to do that. I'm yeah. Not. Oh God. Oh, man. And you know oh god, oh nice man, stuff. look how manipulative this freak is. This guy, man, he watches slaughter porn on a daily basis, he knows every single scene of those movies, but now he's gonna pretend and act surprised, taking that poor ex-vegan with him and who, what is this? Oh, what a freak. Wow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what happens. You become totally desensitized. And Joey is absolutely desensitized. He doesn't feel anything but hunger. He wants to eat them. I guess it's different when you... Look at him. He's just standing next to it. It doesn't affect him at all. When you understand that behind their He doesn't feel a thing. Zero. Yeah, no, and it's, 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 it guts me even more. Because I have pet rats. And like, you know, they're always killed. Like people, people go. Oh, I just want to feed your rat to my steak. I just want. Like I know it's not the same because they're not like mass produced and killed. Yeah. But it's like even it. They're, they're still the same and they're still beings that people. Yeah, intelligent little yeah, beings. Of course. Little non-human. Intelligent people, little non-human intelligent. How about abortions? Um, especially chickens. They, they don't get care. Really get a vasectomy. Really hard time. Like the only reason I'm doing this is to get the public's opinion on what's going on yeah, and try yeah. to persuade people who watch the video yeah, to yeah. choose another way. Because yeah, yeah, a, a lot of people's justifications, I don't think. Um, uh, you know, uh, good enough for this, you know. Why would they choose the vegan way? Just look at you, man. Your Billy Rubin levels, look it up, must be skyrocketing. Everyone likes He looks so sick. Wow. But yeah. they really don't. We want things so quick, so it's got convenience. Like, yeah, so, so that's why they just kill him more, kill him more, kill him more. Even, even these days, it's like. And then this um, emotional like, music. I'm learning to do it's just an appeal to emotion fallacy. Don't you get it in your heads? Vegetables. You don't get it, right? So I've got like a garden and I've got wow. quite a lot of vegetables because even the vegetables now, they're no good. The they can't be. Shop. They're a lot better than this because... Oh, yeah, sure. Glyphosate, fantastic. A lot better. Get all the pesticide <laughs> build up in them from all the food they eat. Yeah. yeah. You know, if you're just eating the, the food directly, you get a lot less concentration of pesticide. Anyway. The guy told you that he gets his meats predominantly from farms. What pesticides are you talking about? Anyway. But, uh, he doesn't even listen, he can't listen. He hates humans, he hates animals. We put that in our body. Yeah, yeah, you know? of course, yeah, yeah. He just got fame through veganism, he has to cling on to it. He has nothing else going for himself. This is the thing, it's not just saying I don't eat meat, it's a lifestyle change, isn't it? It's, it's like, it's, you change the way you view animals. So you don't see them as vending machines for eggs anymore, you don't no. see them as uh, meat machines, you don't see them as milk machines. You're changing the way you view them. But why would I change my views? They're literally biological machines that can take plant matter and create perfectly digestible food for us. Society changes the way they view them and no longer commodifies them. Yeah, as as you, you are egg, changing your views group, as a part of society. Farms began. Yes. They, all, they all were backyard eggs at one stage. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And then someone was like, hey, you know, I like eggs. I I, now, now I'm going to... Everyone sees an egg as food now yes. and they have to meet that demand and they have to have yeah, because it is food. Factory farms, but until wow. we have a whole paradigm shift and you stop seeing an egg as food, 
Nothing's gonna Agreed. change. Yeah. Congratulations, now you crippled your perception. An egg is by any standard the perfect food. Even if you look into the German word for protein, it is Eiweiß. The protein coming from an egg has a biological value of 100%. It is the gold standard for protein measurements. Moreover, it is nature's multivitamin because it comes with all the fat soluble vitamins that you would need. You can tell yourself that it's not food, but ultimately you're playing make believe. Every time you you eat animals, you're paying for the worst cruelty on earth. Um, yeah, she doesn't know that. that. Because you she know. never heard of it. A lot of people it's not like her girlfriend is vegan. Because you have that awareness, <laughs> like the moral culpability is much higher. Yes, I because just want to tell you the thing. same story over and over again. More like One more time. Like Listen to me. Sort of hab habitual thing, maybe you fall Habitually. No, I think it is as well. Wow, well, Joey, 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 Joey. Oh, what have you done to yourself, man? You know, you got a happy cow. You know happy cow? <laughs> Do you know what happy cow is? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's repulsive. And you've got more options than ever before in the UK. Well, it's so disgusting. Look at him. Just stroking the footage? that bird. You know what you're doing. I don't even have to have this conversation with you. No, of course not. No, it's, it's yeah, exactly. You don't. So why do you do it? So you're rats. Do you have dogs and cats? I have two cats. I don't have dogs. You know, I've been investigating a lot of UK farms recently. And, uh, <laughs> Investigator. I go into the farms all the time here. And they are disgusting, horrible places where... There's always sickening, <laughs> suffering, and birds just dying on their faces, slowly breathing. You don't know who to rescue. It smells pungent like ammonium feces. <laughs> ammonium feces. Joey loves the wordplay. Me and my wife was, what do you call it? We, was, um, we really looked into it and we slowed everything down. So like now we, we will have meat, maybe say, like once a week or sometimes if more because it's like man stop catering to that idiot and eat steak every day average person they have like every meal three every three meal. meals a day yeah three meals a day six meals a day well, if you don't have let me correct you it's easy to kick them brother 100%, you know what i mean because you know? if i put the gun in your hand and i had a cow here who, who do you eat cows lambs or chickens who me what, what animals do you eat all the animals yeah yeah most like of do you eat pigs and that um yeah yeah like bacon ham and yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I put these animals in front of you, like a pig nuzzling you, would you be able to... No, no, that's, uh, no definitely I wouldn't yeah. be able to. No. So that's as a, if, what man, what as if. Just let a week pass and then you will be able. Like, it's ridiculous. Stick a hook in a fish's yeah, yeah. face and suffocate them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. good-hearted. Yeah. I hated being a hypocrite myself. Sure. I hated it. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't like it. I don't... I try to be as consistent as I can. I try to appeal to your emotions as much as I can and mirror them. And I try to better myself. <laughs> but with the, the cruelty to the animals and the suffering of the animals, that was one thing I really had to, yeah. to be consistent about because yeah. I, I couldn't justify being cruel and violent to the innocent for taste pleasure. Taste pleasure. Are we going to, yeah, exactly. Am I going to sit there and have a burger or a chick, you know, a piece of chicken or, or whatever that be? for the taste or am I actually going to stand up as a man and say this is absolutely immoral? It's too bad, it's way too wow, bad for me man. To It's the blind leading the blind, honestly. Like I can't yeah, Wow. Yeah. I agree, I agree. Yeah. And it, it, you forget about your meal, like soon. Like I don't even, yeah. I have to struggle to remember what I had for breakfast two days ago. It's gone, it's forgotten about. Yeah, you already forgot about it because you're thinking about your next meal. Stop lying to us, Joey, we know how hungry you are. You know, the fact <laughs> that I don't eat meat affects my life zero like yeah point, absolutely we can see that i go oh there's burger king there there's pret there yeah. there's i can oh, m s there i know where there's vegan stuff everywhere because i've been yeah, doing yeah. it for so long now sure. cool. it's really easy to get a hang of it <clears throat> translation i know how to eat junk food and remove the last 20 percent of animal foods in that otherwise already plant-based junk now it's just I wow you know what i mean <laughs> i think like people that can't make this small lifestyle change. I'm like, why? Small. It's easy totally as, small. Like, okay, I'm not gonna grab Just more nourish yourself. Learn how to cook the best. Why tofu. not? Absolutely. Yeah. Marinate yeah. the tofu, grill the tofu, and it's still <laughs> food. <laughs> Kiss yeah. the tofu, and lick the tofu. Protein, calcium, no yeah. cholesterol, really low on saturated fat. Yeah. So it's a really good food tofu, actually. Yeah, it's a fantastic food. As you just mentioned, you have no saturated fats and no cholesterol. Why is that good? For that chicken. There's no argument for that. Life of suffering there never will be. Something that we're going Ansel Keys. And go, why did we do that? We, when we have people that know and understand and go vegan, we need them for the animals. Like We need them to help change the world. Otherwise, <laughs> we're just like, it's that apathy. The, you know, change the mind. world but how will you change the literal world as i said already if you look into the world you will see that every organism feeds on another organism how do you want to change that into life and by eating plant-based burger king vegan and <laughs> just get sucked back into like 
the culture. That's fantastic. That's where the danger is, the apathy. That, uh, like, I'll just mindlessly consume them. I don't really care. That's, where, that's what most people No, it's do. much better to consume mindlessly vegan junk food. So when we that's get better. Someone who snaps awake, really, the animals really need them. Yeah, yeah they need you. Like I lived such a fast life, and at the time, like it wasn't as easy when I was doing it, you know. So, and I was just like touring all the time. Yeah, yeah, I get you. So it was harder for me to do it. I get you. Know? you. So I, I, I got to the stage where I was, because when I was doing, it, I wasn't, I wouldn't even eat honey, because yeah, you know, yeah. with the bees and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So I used to pack my meals. Good work. Take it. Take I don't, I don't go that far. We, because now in the UK it's yeah, easy. But now, yeah. But How long ago was this when you? I'm talking maybe maybe like 10 years ago. Shit, bro. Oh my God. 10 years ago. And I was yeah, I do. Years. Okay. Yeah, dude. So it Everything's like, yeah. changed now, man. <laughs> <laughs> Everything changed now, guys. You can get vegan takeout no matter where you go. If you then, however, fail on that vegan restaurant diet, you did it wrong. <laughs> you should be, brother. You're against this stuff, obviously. Obviously. I support it. Yeah, yeah. Which I feel bad for because I support it, yet, I, yet I'm a part of it, which mm. is not emotional really what I want. music. Maybe, today is maybe, yeah. maybe the messages that I've been sort of, you know, telling myself over yeah. the last three or four weeks. Hey, mate. Um, may, you know, maybe that is a case that, um, you know, just seeing you today by chance um, yeah. is something that will make me go away and maybe start. Thank you for today. It's been Thank you, Joey. Changing lives. It's it's maybe one it's, of the maybe time. It's a sign. Yeah. Maybe it's, your maybe it's sign a sign. It's a sign. From Back God, around. it's a sign. He sent Joey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you, for the information and the <laughs> you can just see his ego blowing up. Okay. Really Ooh, yeah. yeah it's been to meet you. Nice to meet you. Go vegan. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. I hate you. I hate you. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. Long enough as it is. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.